Hello and welcome to another plan with me. My name is Jess. You can also find me on Instagram as Knit Plan Jess. Um, I always try to put it right there below. Um, so yeah, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be planning in my vertical and I'm going to be using the Fresh Start. This is from the Back to School line that just came out this year and going to use a couple washies with it as well. So I've got this blue that kind of coordinates with some of the stickers I picked out and then I've got this white. So let me go ahead and go to July. I am going to be using my vertical cat lady planner. I already have my monthly done and I'm ready to plan this week. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. So I do have some stickers picked out. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of these. We'll kind of see what happens. Um, I have some ideas like for this really long, for this really long sticker, I have some of the ideas for the, uh, like the colorful boxes. These are made to fit in a, um, these are made to fit in a big planner and I'm gonna be using a classic size planner. So we'll have to get a little creative. And as you can see, the blue matches the blue from some of these stickers. So it'll just kind of be a good way to like tie in that blue for the stickers that don't have any. Uh, because I didn't actually pick a lot of stickers with the blue. So like it. let's go ahead and get started. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this sticker that's going to be going on the side. And what I've been using the side for is kind of like my master list. So I really like the idea of using the sticker that was um, kind of all about like the goals and the notes. So that will be kind of figured having been able to write in my goals is going to be a really good way for me to actually set myself up for success for this week. And I'm going to go ahead and just take some of this washi and I want to just put it down at the bottom. Yeah, I don't really have like any, I don't really have like any plan with the washi except just to kind of overlap some of the stickers with it. And I don't know, just... I'm just the washi I'm making up as I go along. Let's let's just say that. I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna use this Live With Heart sticker first. And I was thinking about just going ahead and putting it over here on Tuesday because then that way I can be able to use some of my, like my actual boxes. I can just kind of have them overlapping it. I actually really like the idea of it overlapping both of those. So I'm going to put that box right there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this red one right here too, but I'm not going to overlap that yellow box. Okay, so now I also really want to use this one. So I think this one, I'm going to actually cut this in half. So that way I can use it on each side. So I'm just, I'm basically folding it with the sticky side out. So that way it obviously doesn't stick to itself. And then I'm just very carefully just cutting right along the edge. And then I have a perfectly square box. I actually did this with this one and this sticker book I used for July 1st for my dailies. So the reason why I picked um, Fresh Start for this week is number one, what I've kind of learned in the planner community is that um, July Oh, no, I just had a sticker, sticker tear. Um, July and January are like the months that tend to be um, 
the months of fresh starts. So January, obviously, because it's the beginning of the year, and then July, because a lot of planners start in July. So it just, it just felt like a good idea. All right, so um, before I kind of add boxes there, because I definitely think I'm gonna have to go to the sticker book to get boxes, I'm gonna use this Live Less Out of Habit and More Out of Intent. This is gonna be on Thursday. Um, Thursday is actually my first day of vacation. And I have this striped header, and then I also have this, finally, the weekend header. I'm actually gonna be putting this on Thursday because Thursday starts my long three-day weekend. All right, I like it so far. Um, and then I'm gonna do the other side of those apples. I'm actually gonna do it right here. Again, I want that overlapping. And then what I decided is quiet the noise when you hear the piece. This is gonna be used. I'm gonna use this on Sunday. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use that one because, oh my gosh, I don't even have room for it. I wanted to use this. You got this. I had this idea, hmm, not with that gold stuff to it. I had this idea to use, okay, this right here. So, let me see. I guess I could put the U right there and then got this is going to, I guess I could do like that, but I don't want that. Yeah, I can cut the U so it's right there. Um, or I could kind of go, you got this. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to separate all of these. I love these humongous quote stickers because they're just so much fun. But when you're in a classic size planner, let's just be honest, they can be a little difficult to use. Ew. Um, yeah, no, okay, so I'm gonna go back to my original thinking and I'm gonna put you right here. I'm going to put the word got. It's gonna go, I'm actually gonna trim off this a little bit more and this is gonna go right there. And then we're gonna put the word this See if I can pick it up. Um, tweezers. This is when it's always nice to have the tweezers come in. And I'm just gonna put this just right there. All right, I, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, so next, all right, so let's see. So I've got, my boxes for Monday. Um, I don't have a lot going on, but I think I'm going to have a today's priorities on Wednesday. I'm actually going to put this like between Tuesday and Wednesday because it really doesn't matter which day that I do it on. And I'm going to go ahead and put this pink box. I'm going to put this over here too and I'm actually going to put it on Sunday morning. And then I'm going to use the two-day sticker because I will have some errands that I have to run um, and they can be done either Saturday or Sunday. So, you know, a lot of things that I do, like, my, like for my errands or certain chores it doesn't have to be done on 
particular days. So I do like to kind of just like be flexible. And that is one thing that I like about the big stickers because you can be able to overlap. And you know, it, it actually looks kind of cute. All right, so I want this important sticker because I do have, we do have something going on Saturday. So I want to make sure we have our Pokemon Go community day on Saturday. So we are not going to miss that. Hopefully it won't be super hot outside. And then let's see, I'm thinking Friday. Friday we might actually try to make our trip to San Francisco. So one nice thing about the big boxes, or about the boxes in the big sticker books, is that they do fit like perfectly in the classic size. Okay. All right, so now, no, no, no. I'm trying to think of what else they have going on. I want to bring some red. So I'm going to put this one right down here. I'm sure I'll have something to do on Friday or sat Sunday that will that will work for. Alright. You could always do this. I'm trying to make sure that I take a lot of a lot of time for reading, but I'm not sure I really like that. I don't know if I'm going to use that one actually. So now what I have left is these apples, which are just cute, and then some dots for to dos. So I think what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to kind of put like the little decoration around and go ahead and bring in a couple more pieces of washi. Kind of tie that together. So same how I am with the stickers. I like my washi to be straight and not crooked. There we go. And then I think what would be really cute is to put some washi underneath of these header flags that are now stuck to the page. So as much as I love wax paper, sometimes it, sometimes you still get a sticker that tears every now and then, but that's okay. I will make do. So I'm gonna put a piece of glue down. It's not straight, but I honestly don't care for that one. And then I'm gonna put a little piece of white down underneath of it. And I was thinking maybe like right here. All right. Um, this is going to be a very, very simple spread. So I want to put, like I said, I just I have these apples that I thought were so cute. So I want to kind of put these around. Um, I'm going to put this one right here, and I want a yellow one, and I've got the pink. I don't have a lot of pink over here. I'm trying to kind of decide, like, how much do I want to layer some of the stickers? How much do I want to cluster them together? I have the yellow ones, so I don't have a lot of yellow up here. And then this blue. Oh, 
That was difficult to take off. Oh, I don't like, I don't know if I want that. So what I might do, I might move this cream colored apple. I think I'm gonna move this to the other page. I'm actually going to put, I'm gonna put that right there. That way you can't tell that that sticker tore. And then I'm just peeling off that extra sticker on there. And I'm gonna place that right there. And then we just have the dots, so I'm just gonna place the dots around. I'm really not doing it like any particular place. I'm just kind of trying to keep the color spread. So if I need like more color um, in one area, I'm putting it there. But really, I'm just making sure that I'm keeping it functional as well. And then bring some dots over here. I also have some gold dots that I can use too, so I'm gonna use those as well. And that's too much red. Okay, I'm actually going to move this pink dot down here, even though there's pink right there. Then put the gold dots around, and I'd say that I'm gonna be done. Put one more right there, and there we go. So the finished June 28th through July 4th spread. You know, it's funny because as, as I was scrolling Instagram today, I, I saw a lot of people post like 4th of July spreads and I just kept thinking, why didn't I do that? And then I'm looking at it and obviously I see a lot of red, white, and blue. So let's just say that this is a fresh start slash 4th of July spread. So let me go ahead and put this back into my planner. In that way, I can make good use out of this, and it seems like it's going to be super functional. Um, I absolutely love using the big stickers in the classic size planner, and I think that this just really shows you that you can use those big stickers in a classic size planner and keep it still super functional. So, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you hit that little bell in the corner, you'll actually get notifications every time that I post a new video. So thank you and have a good day.